After some relatively flat stages, it is time for the Tour de Suisse to hit the mountains. With the start in the city center of St. Gallen, the stage ends 120 kilometers later in Ebnat Capel. And after climbing two major climbs, one of the second category and one of the first category. So another exciting day on the bike. Well, it's hot, that's already a thing, but um, it's kind of hard to predict also. It uh, are some challenging climbs, not the longest climbs. And of course you have SD Works who is super strong, but also I think Kenyon and Trek want to do something for GC and we really want to fight for the, for the stage also. So we hope a challenging, uh, challenging race. Uh, today is going to be a really hard stage, it's uh, really hilly and uh, with a climb, so we're going to see. We, we're going to play something and then uh, who knows. Yeah, I see the climbs on Velo Viewer because yeah, we have uh, not enough time to go to see the climbs and so then uh, we will discover uh, by the stage. After the start in St. Gallen, the peloton stays together without any major escapes. Then, on the first big climb, Elise Shabby defends her red jersey and takes full points. In the descent, riders try to break away from the peloton, but the controlling SD works prevents that. But we do have a break. Paulina Royakers, Eva van Acht, Kate Blanca Vas and Paula Patino escape from the peloton with 46 kilometers to go to the finish. Behind them, a counter-attack from the peloton from Urska Ziegard and Julie van der Velde, who try to bridge to the four in the lead. And it seems that the peloton is happy with this break. With 34 kilometers to go, the two riders make it to the front group. So we have now six riders in the lead, with SD works of race leader Reuser controlling the peloton. The leading group is working well together, but there are riders with a plan. Urska Ziegard has one and is attacking, and her fellow breakaway riders are unable to follow. Meanwhile in the peloton, multiple attacks as well. But the controlling SD works is getting every attack back in the bunch, while up the tempo and with 6 kilometers to go, the remaining riders of the leaning group are caught. Only one kilometer to go and Seagard is still in the lead. Is she going to make it? The speed of the peloton is really high and with 200 meters before the finish line, she is caught. And now the peloton starts their bunch sprint where Eleonora Gasparini wins the third stage of Tour de Suisse. Yeah, I'm uh, really happy and uh, I know that uh, arrive uh, this final was uh, perfect for me and uh, so I try to survive and uh, play my cards in the best way at the end because it's my first important victory and uh, so I'm, uh, I'm really happy. I can't believe uh, this, uh, really. How important... Eleonore Gasparini wins the third stage of Tour de Suisse. Arlenis Sierra is second and Teresa Neumannova completes the podium. Marlon Reuser still leads the general classification. The SD Works rider is followed by her teammate Demi Vollering and Elisa Longa-Bogini is third and needs 18 seconds on the Swiss rider to win tomorrow on the fourth and final stage.